uh, Brian McGee and Derek Forbes um, were that that big heartbeat. They were the heartbeat. They were the machine of the band. They certainly were, and it, it was never replicated. Kenny Hislop. Uh, um, kept that kind of going. Mike Ogletree, who's a lovely, lovely guy and a brilliant drummer, but he was the one that brought in slightly jazzier influences right. um, with New Gold Dream. He did all the drum patterns for New Gold Dream and Mel Gaynor, of course, took them to an the extreme. Big noise, and the big noise, and it's certainly big and it's still a big bass and drum sound, but much more complex. The original Simple Minds uh, uh, bass and drum sound was like, very simple. Derek Forbes's uh, Derek Forbes bass riffs were pretty simple bass riffs but strongly identifiable so you reckon I think they were as strong and as identifiable as Peter Hook's in New Order mm -hmm. and Derek again is an underestimated and underrated in the same way as Charlie's an underrated guitarist and um, because they both had very unique sounds and styles and Derek Derek's more obvious because he's missed from the band uh, from Simple Minds, you know, his, his bass sound was so... Oh, no.